Sea cows are dying in Florida, at an alarming rate and the reason behind the death of the humanities is starvation. Their main staple of seagrass is disappearing in the state's panhandle region. Out of an estimated population of 6,000 to 7,000 manatees in Florida, up to a thousand died last year alone. Seagrass is a starting point for many different species, from different fish and invertebrates that grow up there, they're also food sources for many different animals such as manatees and turtles. So quite a few different species rely on seagrasses. The gentle sea mammals are a protected species in Florida, but their environment is not. They are particularly vulnerable because aside from the scarcity of seagrass in their habitats, they are also being affected by water pollution injured by boats and killed by red tide events, a toxic algal bloom. Manatees in Florida need to stay warm, when temperatures drop in the winter time, and so they are aggregating around a couple of power plants there. So you'll have thousands of manatees in this area, which they come sort of expecting you know where's the buffet and they arrive and it's not there, and so they have been starving and dying as a consequence of that starvation, but also other health concerns that are associated with malnutrition. Manatees which can grow up to 4 meters long and weigh up to 1,600 kilograms of herbivorous and survive almost exclusively on seagrass. They can live both in salty and fresh water and venture into rivers, springs and inlets. They are gentle and docile and afraid of humans and reproduce very slowly. A carve every two and a half years or so. Now seagrass is being killed primarily by water pollution fertilizer runoff as well as human and animal waste and other human activities such as boats dragging their anchors across the seabed. 